hey everybody welcome back to my channel and today we're doing a really cool speed build so here I am in San Mashuno and I'm furnishing apartment it's not a build actually I guess, I guess you can kind of say it's a build but it's more like a furnishing but yeah this is an apartment that is um oh god what was the name of this one I know it's like Zen view apartment but I can't remember which particular building it was Error. but anyway that's really irrelevant <laughs> I mean I guess it is relevant but hopefully I'll remember to maybe look it up put it in the description if it matters anyway um, this is a build I'm doing for one of my sim self her oldest child her son is moving out and he's gonna move out with his uh, I guess technically he'd be his uncle yeah he'd be his uncle because it's his dad's youngest brother but they're he's he's a baby like he's pretty much the same age as my sim cell son so there you have that um they're getting an apartment together and this is what it's going to be for the sake of story progression because i will probably be paying them at some point in time i've actually played them and i have some videos of them i just haven't gotten around to editing them so there'll be stories on that um, but yeah he's aged up to a young adult so did his uncle so they are and they're really cool they're really close they're like brothers and they thought it would be a good idea to get an apartment together but we're gonna call it a condo um, Olani is my stem cells son and that's his name and he worked in high school and even though we don't have university we're just saying for the story that he went off to college and he also worked during that time and because they come from because because they are wealthy and they've done very well for themselves there is no career as far as real estate investing but that's kind of what I do like I pretend that they buy these old dilapidated homes um, around the neighborhoods and different things and then fix them up and then when new sims move into them yeah that's like them getting a commission of some sort anyway um so i guess you could kind of say i do do ch money cheats but it's more so because there's no career for that or or option for that as far as like it's just yeah i wish you could have you know like i wish i would rather her be a full-time visual artist that she paints all day every day at home and when she's leaving out to go actually to a job it's more so to go work on her a project for a house like they have they do contracting we have they flip houses you know but anyway that's not the case so I have to kind of finagle it that way this let's talk about this apartment though this condo I wanted it to be something that to me matched his personality um, in a way that he's a very eclectic even though he's a um, young adult he kind of has an old soul um, he has a um, very refined taste I didn't want it to look like a young adults bachelor pad I wanted to look like someone more established lived here because he's been not necessarily sheltered but he's just old for his age you know even though there are certain parts of his personality like when it comes to experience with women and different things like that he's kind of I wouldn't say he's shy or immature or you know lacking but he's just very disciplined when it comes to that you know he doesn't date a lot of women he doesn't you know usually he just has he cultivates a lot of friendships with people but he doesn't he doesn't run through women like his uncle does his uncle his character for the sake of this video is they're both non-committal but um <laughs> he's still got the romantic traits so he likes to he likes to have a good time and he's been having a lot of good times with a lot of different people in the game <laughs> but um yeah he also Olani makes a lot of money he's already established in his career not established to the point where he's like maxed out his career but he's already bringing home 
a good paycheck. He always gets promoted and things like that. I can't remember what career he's in. Ooh. I wish I did. <laughs> I wish I did, but I think it's the... I think he's, um... Computers? I think I chose that for his career. I want I didn't want him to do something creative, even though he is a creative and he paints. I didn't want him to be exactly like his mother, you know. And I didn't want him to do culinary because that's what his dad does, you know. I wanted him to kind of be a person who, although he appreciates his parents and what they've done and what they have and what they continue to do, and he's benefited from those. Like he is a great artist and he d is a great cook. I think he's level he's like level 8 or 9 when it comes to cooking. He might have even he might be a 10. I can't remember. I play so many of my Sims. So yeah. But um anyway, his mom loves purple. She's also eclectic and like I said an RC creative person and she's obsessed with the color purple. So the, his whole house was purple except for his room. You know, like everyone's rooms or where they held their private spaces within the homes was in purple, but everything else was. And Daisy loves purple to uh, it's a, an obsession and she's like i said she's my stem cell so i am obsessed with the color purple and in my own home everything is purple except for i didn't do that to my children i wasn't like oh your room's going to be purple too you know things like that so anyway he now that he has his own place decided you know more chocolates more browns more neutral colors wood tones different things like that a little more of an earthy earthy vibe but because his mother also had a green thumb and a lot of times some of his chores were to help his mom out in the garden he's grown an affection for plants too so we have a lot of plants in here and some of the plants are custom content um peacemaker is my favorite content maker as far as cc is concerned i do want to play around with some other ones but most of my furniture or build mode stuff I think all of it's Peacemaker. I am, like I said, going to figure out some more people to play around with. But I really love his stuff. I, I just do. And so, just throughout the house, there are a few items that are Peacemaker. So those things, that if I do upload this to the gallery, are they're small things that you can always replace. Like the clutter, the plants. I think one piece of major furniture in the bedrooms like the bookshelf oh and the shelving where those those collectibles are those are the peacemakers so um you won't see them if you don't have them so i don't know what you would do maybe they just maybe the i don't know what happens if you don't have i don't know whether those collectibles will just end up on the floor or what <laughs> that'll be interesting to see if you don't have that um yeah i changed this color blue although i like it but because i wanted things to kind of t i guess i could have left it like that i could have left the color blue but i think it it towards the end of me furnishing this apartment i change it to um green like a hunter green and um i just thought that warmed up the space a little bit more um gave it a more cozy vibe and that's the kind of what I was going for. Kind of a cozy vibe. Of maybe like a world traveler situation. Um, a place that if in the event that a girl moves in, you know, it still feels not super masculine. Um, the, yeah. This bedroom, I really thought I was going to use this bedroom for Olani. But then I just realized, oh, wait a minute, the other bedroom has access to the balcony. So I decided that this would be Cedric's bedroom. And you can see I'm swatching out different beds and the wall colors here. That's kind of how I, that's my, 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 my um, method or madness, whatever you want to call it, when it comes to deciding. So I just keep deleting and putting something else there. I just put them all there and just figure it out with the bed swatches, the colors, and all of that, and then say, okay, this one, you know. Especially if I'm having a hard time deciding. Um, but yeah, so this is Cedric's room, and then I do the other room for Alani's because since he is a painter, he has access to the balcony and he can use the paint by reference. Um, uh, 
command and use that to paint some of the cityscape. I haven't done it yet, so I'm, I'm curious to see how nice that'll look. Um, and then I do a laundry in this place in the hallway because it's a nice size hallway so I figured you know we could put a laundry in there and that way I can play around with that in the gameplay as well I don't put laundry in everybody's house though because sometimes it's it's more of a pain than it is you know necessary <laughs> and this bookshelf is one of my favorite pieces by Peacemaker and I love the art too but there's so much good art even with just the base you know the game's actual art that that's like not the biggest selling point for me the biggest thing is his bookcases and all of the different accessories that come with it and I find that with the shelves the bookshelves and the bookcases in the game especially the shelves you're so limited to what you can put on them almost nothing can go on them unless you actually like put move objects on float the object up use the, the nine key and, and you know and it's just too much <laughs> it's too much and um yeah i decided i didn't want the plates there even though you see me meticulously placing them making sure that each one has a different color all of that stuff and then i realized yeah i went with this industrial pipe i think eventually and I think I also add industrial pipe near the wash machine because, you know, it kind of looks like that exhaust thing that goes out, you know, or is it the dryer, whichever one. In this bathroom, I really love it. I think I love his bathroom way better than the one that I actually created for Alani. Um, but I love those mirrors. That's Peacemaker content as well. And even though I really like the way this wall was divided, that's the way the apartment came. I delete it because I wanted a full shower tub combination and yeah <laughs> I had to delete it so that he they could access the, the shower properly but um Alani's room I decided to do like a chocolate brown and it really looks nice I like the colors I don't use those colors enough and I want to use them more I tend to use like I don't know, I tend to go with the lighter colors on the wall, so I'm definitely enjoying the way that this came out with the darker colors. And like I said, I go back and put the green downstairs. But I really enjoy the furnish in this place. I'm definitely going to upload it to the gallery. I wish you could upload it as one big room. Maybe I'll figure out how to do that and then upload it. That way you could just drop the whole thing into this particular apartment if you want to. Or you can make it work, you know, by resizing the space to whatever apartment you want to put it in. Or if you just want to put it in a house, you know, that's also a thing. A one level house or a two level house. This would be cute as a two level house. I'm going to try to do something like that. Well, anyway, thank you guys for watching. I'm going to shut up now and just let this wrap itself up. And I will see you in the next Let's Play, hopefully. If not, it will definitely be another speed build really soon. Peace and grace, everybody. I'm out.